difference. In this video, I'm going to show that this expression is equal to this binomial expression. Now, the first thing I'm going to do here is that I'm going to record the general formula for the binomial expression for um, negative and also fraction integers. So, and that's actually that's um, 1 plus x all this power of x of n, which is equal to 1 plus nx, right? n plus n into bracket n minus 1 s squared divided by what that's 2 factorial now in this case and i'm having plus some other terms so now, in this case i'm going to um, bring out all this expression or basically i will rewrite this expression and writing this expression i'm going to write it in, so, in such a way that i'm going to have it to be 1 minus 4 x raised power 1 over 2 then multiply it by 1 plus 3 x all this power what 1 over 3 then multiplying this then that's multiplied by what 1 plus x raised power what minus 1 over 2 because if I bring this towards I'm going to have it to be minus 1 over 2 exactly so I'm, I'm multiplying this t, d, these three expressions together so now the first thing I'm going to do is that let me just open a big parenthesis here so if I have a parenthesis here for the first one I'm having the n of this one to be equal to minus 4x sorry the x to be minus 4x and the n to be what 1 over 2 then I'm going to put this inside this binomial expression so that I'm going to have this to be that's going to be 1 plus n is 1 over 2 then multiply by x is actually minus 4x I'm going to have minus 4x right that's it then plus n which is what 1 over 2 I'm going to have 1 over 2 into brackets then n again that's 1 divided by 2 minus 1 s squared that's going to be minus 4x or squared exactly then everything here is going to be divided by what two factorial that's for the first one then the second one which is going to be this is going to be now i'm going to have to be let me just say this is multiplication sign let me represent as what as a red pen is a red color exactly so that's multiplied by it. here i'm going to have it to be that's going to be one that's good that's one here i'm going to be plus n which is the n is one over three i'm going to have one divided by three x is actually 3x right then multiply by 3x then followed by plus n again i'm going to have 1 divided by 3 into bracket 1 divided by 3 right then minus 1 right then i'm going to have s squared the s squared is taken to be what 3x i'm going to have 3x or squared then whole divided by what that's 2 factorial right then followed by i'm going to have for some other times actually then what i'm going to do is that i'm going to multiply it by what by the last expression which is this so then here I'm going to have this to be that's actually 1 plus the n here is minus 1 over 2. Then I'm going to have minus 1 divided by 2. Right then followed by the x. The x here is actually x. Then I'm going to have x then followed by plus n which is actually minus 1 over 2. Then I'm going to have it. I'm going to close the bracket of this. Then open another bracket. I'm going to have minus 1 over 2. Then minus 1 into bracket again. What do I have? I'm going to have s squared and the x is actually the same thing as what as s squared s squared again then i'm going to divide everything here by what by two factorial then i'm having plus some other terms let me just close the big bracket exactly so what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to go ahead and simplify this expression so simplifying this expression let me just take it step by step so that i will not make any mistake so here i'm going to have this to what to one that's this is minus four this is going to be minus exactly we look at this very well this is 2 2 is goes in this for exactly i'm going to have this to be minus 2x exactly then i'm having plus here but before, but before i put plus if you look at this very well 1 over 2 minus 1 is this plus as, as minus 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 then you have 1 over 2 times minus 1 over 2 that's going to be what minus 1 over 4 exactly so i'm having minus 1 over 4 here then here i'm going to have it to be that's actually minus 1 over 4 this is minus 4 x or squared then i'm going to have minus 1 over 4 then times that's going to be minus 4 squared is going to be 16 this is what s squared is actually s squared then i'm going to have it to be divided by 1 2 factorial then i'm just say let me multiply it by what 1 over what over 2 since 2 factorial is actually what 2 then i can multiply it by what 1 over 2 because if i have it if i have anything like let me just say i have 6 divided by 2 you see the same as i seen 6 multiply by what 1 over 2 which is what 6 over 2 exactly so 6 divided by 2 is 3 times as what as 6 divided by 2 that's just it so let's just go ahead and, and move to the next expression i'm having this let me close this inside bracket then multiply open another bracket then
And what do I have inside this one? I'm going to have this to be one. Look at this. This three is going to cancel this three. Then I'm having this to go plus x. Then I'm having one over three minus one. That should give me two over three. So here I'm going to have two over three in this case. I'm going to have two over three multiplied by what? Here I'm having one over three. Then this is actually two over nine. Exactly. So this is two over nine. So if I have two over nine here, three squared is nine. S squared is what? 9 S squared. Then I'm going to have this word multiplying both 9 S squared. So this cancels this as well. Then I'm going to have 2 S squared. Then 2 S squared divided by 2 factorial. That's going to be, this is going to cancel this. Then I'm going to have this word plus S squared as well. Right? I'm going to have this to be what? Plus S squared as well. Let me just close the brackets. Then after that, let's go ahead and what? And multiply the next expression. Open the brackets for that one. Then here I'm going to have this to be. Uh, that's actually 1 minus, this is going to be x divided by 2, then followed by, here I'm having minus 1 over 2 minus 1, that's going to give me minus 3 over 2, right? So if I have this to be minus 3 over 2, over 2, then multiply what? Minus 1 over 2, then multiply what? x squared. This and this is going to be plus, right? Then I'm going to have this to be 3 over 4 x squared. Then 3 over 4 x squared, everything here is 3 over 4, because minus 1 multiplied by minus 3 is going to give us minus plus 3, then 2 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 4, exactly. Then s squared. I'm going to have s squared here. After that, I'm going to have it to what? Multiply what? 1 over 2. Multiplying 1 over 2. So here is this actually plus. This is going to be 3 s squared divided by what? 8. Then everything inside bracket. I'm going to have plus some other terms. Exactly. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to, you know, try to multiply them one by one. You understand? I'm going to multiply them one by one. I'm going to multiply this and this. Exactly first that's the first thing i'm going to do so that i'm going to have this to be that's one in the brackets i'm bringing the first one into brackets now i want to expand this first before this then i'm going to have one into bracket this is actually one minus two x now first this four goes in this right this is actually this is actually 16 s squared over eight then i'm going to have it to be that's actually eight s squared exactly this expression is same as what as it is squared let me just show you guys here here i'm having one over four then this is 16 s squared. Then 2 multiplied by 4, that's actually 8. 8 goes in 16, that's actually 2. Then I'm having 2 s squared. So here is going to be minus 2 s squared. Right? Then follow by what? Next thing, that's plus x. In the bracket, that's 1 plus x plus s squared. Right? Then follow by the next thing, which is actually... Um, the next one is actually... Sorry. Follow by the next one, that's actually 1 minus 2 x. This should be also as well. It should be plus x into brackets 1 minus 2x minus 2s squared that's it then followed by what plus s squared into brackets 1 minus 2x minus 2s squared exactly that's just it now let me just simplify this further simplifying this further i'm going to have this be 1 multiplied by everything is going to give me 1 minus 2x minus 2s squared then this is going to be x multiplied by 1 that's going to give me what that's plus x then this is going to give me minus 2s squared then this is going to give me what? Minus 2x raised to the power what? of 3. Then what of this? I'm going to have plus s squared. Then this is going to give me minus. That has 2. This is going to be x raised to the power of 3. Then minus 2 x raised to the power of, what? of 4. Now the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to neglect this value. Because according to what I'm asked to prove, I'm only having the power of x to be s squared. So I'm going to neglect all that have s to the power of 4. And also s to the power of 3. I'm going to neglect them. Let me just remove them. Then here, if you look at this very well, I'm having, I'm having this, this is actually 1 minus 2x plus x is going to be minus x, right? Followed by minus 2x squared minus 2x squared. That's going to give me what? Minus 4x squared, right? Then here, what again do I have? I'm having plus x squared plus x squared, right? So here, I'm going to have this to be actually, this is going to be, you know, we are simplify it so I'm going to have 1 minus x, then minus 3s squared. That's just it. Then after multiplying this and this, I have this expression. Then let's go ahead and multiply it by, what, by this itself. So multiplying it by this, I'm going to have this to be what? That's actually 1 minus x minus 3s squared. Then open bracket, open another bracket. I'm going to have this. That's 1 minus x divided by 2. Then plus 3s squared divided by what? 8. Then I want to multiply this together. So let's go. So here I'm going to have this to be. 1 multiplied by 1, that's going to give me 1. Then I'm going to have minus x divided by 2. Then here I'm going to have plus. That's going to be 3s squared divided by 8. Right? 
then I'm going to have this multiply this is going to be minus x, then this multiply this is going to be plus s squared divided by 2. Then the next thing I'm going to have this multiply this is going to give me that's actually uh, minus three x raised power but of 3 divided by 8. Exactly. Then let's go ahead with the next one. This multiply this is going to give me that's actually minus three s squared. Then here I'm going to have minus three s to the power of three divided by two. Then followed by that's minus nine s to the power of four divided by eight. So I need to negate those I uh, have the power of x to the power of four and also s to the power of three. So I'm negating this one and also these two as well. Right? So now let me just simplify the rest. I'm going to have one minus x divided by two, then minus x, then followed by plus s squared divided by two, then followed by what plus three s squared divided by what eight. Exactly. So now the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to let me simplify the SCM here, SCM of these two. So if I find the SCM of these two here, I'm going to have this to be that's one. Here I'm going to have this to be one. That's going to be minus. Here I'm having two. Then I'm going to have this to be that's x minus x. That's going to be minus two x exactly. So this is minus x minus two x. Then here I'm going to have this to be also that's actually. Let me just say I'm having this to be plus. Let me find this here. I'm having eight here. Then I'm having this to be that's 4s squared, right? Right, 4s squared. Here yeah, I'm going to have plus so 3s squared. So this is going to be that's actually that's 1, then minus 3x divided by 2, then plus that's going to be 7s squared divided by 8. Exactly. 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 So this is just the expansion. So if you enjoyed this video, please and please kindly like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.